Because when I was doing sessions, it was like, damn, I need a bass player. Wouldn't right. nobody ask show up. Right. Or they want this amount of money. So I was like, okay. All right. <laughs> you know, right. like, ain't got a guitar player. So it was like, that's that's, how, that's where the whole Super Dave thing came from. Because mm -hmm. it's like, when we would sit there and do a session, they like, oh, the guitar player won't come in. I was like, I didn't know any better. But I was like, okay, I'll play it. Right. They're like, damn. Then they was like, damn, nigga, what don't you do? <laughs> they said, you print something? I'm like, no. Because I actually got stories about his little ass. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I want to hear something about Prince. Oh. I, I can tell you. Okay. Okay, I, I, moments. I, 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 well, I was like, with the, the movie Crush Groove. Like, we were yeah, all coming yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. The movie Crush Groove, you know, that was the Russell Simmons story or whatever. But with the, the scene where I guess he's in the piano room with, with Sheila E., Back in them days, I kind of had a thing for Sheila E or whatever it is, but you know, she used to eyeball me back. So, all of a sudden, now you, what happens is you hear over the loudspeaker, your boy Prince had his bodyguards talking about if anybody get caught looking at her, they gotta go. I knew who the hell he was talking about. So, he <laughs> said, so we really not understanding that, like, what makes you think we gonna leave? I'm like, I'm, I'm not getting it. So he right. says, and this is Prince? Yeah, this is Prince. Uh, Prince, like he sent goons at you? No, he sent on uh, what's his name, Pucky, <laughs> the big bodyguard, and, shit. <laughs> and and I guess and again I was like I guess that's the way it's like that's the way you do things in Minneapolis or whatever. But I'm like you sending this one bodyguard dude, and I'm like this is all Hollis Queens <laughs> and Bronx sitting right here, <laughs> like and you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> so dude came in there all brolic and shit, and it was like you know and it was like yo you gotta leave and shit, and I'm just kind of like. I don't really have to leave, but, <laughs> but I'm like, but out of respect for not getting my ass fired, you know, and my brother Tony Rome going through shit. Like my brother Tony Rome, if you ever hear that Public Enemy record, okay. I got a call from Tony Rome. That's my brother. Oh, so he's the one okay. that, he didn't want to drag me in all of this music shit. Oh. So, so I said, so to not get in trouble, I'm like, you know, I just kind of gave dude the eye, like, don't get your ass whipped, but I'm, I'm going to leave and, and still wink that Sheila E and Prince little happy ass. He got mad and shit, but. He was just that type of dude, but the crazy thing about him is he he, he had this glow about him and shit. It's like like when you see, hear all that Dave Chappelle shit and all that mm -hmm. shit, that shit was real. It was real. That it's motherfucker, real, about, real. that motherfucker's about this tall. It's like he had like this glow about him, but his musician and all that just seriously sick nasty cat. Like incredible. Like not school taught none. That's some serious old school. Just whoop your ass. Just some right. playing ass dude. And we were just coming from some different culture because at that time. They didn't understand how two turntables could do all of that loud shit. You know what I'm saying? Because we, right. we we used to in New York. There's a studio it's still there called SIR, and that's a rehearsal studio. So this shit is like American Airlines Arena type stage, you know. And they up there rehearsing and shit. Like yeah, we bad as the purple suits and shit stomping. And then meanwhile, you got us with you know weed heads and shit and Adidas and shit and dirty shirts on. Right. We come up there with two turntables. Like all right, fuck off, bust that ass. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. It was cool because he actually embraced the culture. Okay. Like back at that time, you actually had other bands just hating like hell. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be.